At the uppermost reaches of New York State, the St. Lawrence River marks the border between the U.S. and Canada. In winter months, the river freezes, creating a frontier of ice, and for drug smugglers, a highway of seemingly infinite lanes between the two countries. And there's sections that we can actually drive across it with vehicles, with snowmobiles, with ATVs, whatever. You can walk across it, a uh, snowshoe across it. Wade Lofman's Border Patrol Station is responsible for patrolling roughly 30 miles of the world's longest shared border. A border that is often forgotten was brought into the limelight earlier this month when a government accountability office report said the terrorist threat from Canada was greater than from Mexico and that only 32 miles of the border was adequately patrolled. James Burns of the DEA wasn't surprised by the GAO report. Similar reports and increased attention after 9-11 have led to greater funding for law enforcement along the northern border. So while the southern border certainly uh, gets the attention it deserves, I think the northern border is getting more attention and is getting additional resources that we do need up here. Increased funding has led to a three-fold increase in manpower and new equipment like snowmobiles at Lofman Station. Despite the lack of press coverage, Lofman believes there are real threats along the northern border. Obviously we don't get the volume, we don't get the amount of human smuggling, narcotic smuggling that you get on the southern border, obviously. Um, but there is still a real threat on the northern border. Our Canadian partners to our north, they are aware of that threat as well. And obviously there's a lot less border patrol agents on the northern border than on the southern border. But the threat is still there and it's still real. President Obama and Canadian Prime Minister Stephen Harper recently signed an agreement in hopes of better addressing these threats. And the U.S. House of Representatives will hold a hearing on the border on Tuesday. Burns and Lofman see these developments as two more signs that while many forget about the northern border, Washington has begun to take notice. David Martin, The Associated Press, New York.